Why are you so mafan? Eh? <laughs> English is the first language in Singapore, but whenever I have visitors from the US, they always can't understand what locals are saying, and I'm always asked to be the translator. I was like, are you serious? They are speaking English. You're asking me to translate English into English for you? Truth to be said, it also takes me many years to understand every word the native locals are saying. No matter if it's the day-to-day -day buying food in the hawker center or even in a more business professional setting. Maybe you've been living in Singapore for your whole life or maybe you just moved to Singapore and also have the same shocking experience like I did. Let's have some fun and take a look at some of the examples below. Number one, address and postal code. Singapore delivery guy is asking for address from American customer. What's your home address for delivery? My home is 60 Woodsville, Patong Passier. Zip code 357799. Xiao Jie, you cannot even pronounce your home address. We say Patong Passe, not Passe. We use postal code. What zip code, huh? You think this is US, huh? Go back to your country, la. <laughs> but we say zip code. In US, we say zip code, and we pronounce as Potom Passier, home address. In Singapore, we say Potom Passe, home address, home address, and postal code. Number two, dining. A Singapore friend is talking to an American friend. Hey, 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 koala. Singapore better is getting better. I found a really good alfresco restaurant for us to dine together. It's very relaxed, we can have fun. Do you want to go hang out together? Mm, what? What's that? Let me Google. Alfresco. Oh, I found it. Effort, especially with reference to eating in the open air. Okay. Hey, Mr. Doctor, why can't you just use simpler words? I have a master's degree, but I've never learned this word, alfresco. Your word sounds like you have a PhD. Can you just say outdoor dining? Why has to be alfresco? We are a simple person, we just use simple words. In the US, we say outdoor dining, or to eat outdoor, or outdoor restaurant. In Singapore, we say alfresco. Going out for alfresco dining, I think it's a very classy word. We like to use that. Number three, hawker center. A foreigner is lining up to buy food in the food store. <laughs> what do you want? Chicken rice, please. I know, but what do you want? I said chicken rice, empty. I know, white or black? Oh, I didn't know chicken has different colors. What's black chicken like? Black is soya. Oh, okay. Then the original. You want white, yeah? Okay, okay. Take away or having here? What is having here? Take away. Why are you so mafan? Is Miss Auntie needs to take it to go or to die in here? Oh, take out, please. What take out? Take away, ah? Uh? Yeah, yeah, take out. <laughs> in the US, we say take out or dining. Maybe this is very special to US people, but it's difficult for a lot of my American friends who were visiting Singapore, ordering in Hawke Center, because they couldn't understand having here and takeaway. In Singapore, we say takeaway or having here. Remember, seriously, I've helped so many US friends translate this sentence when they're visiting Singapore and Hawker Center. Not exaggerated at all, they really don't understand. I was like, they are speaking English, you are asking me to translate English into English. <laughs> Number four, the date. Writing message to a friend. Captain Mickey, I'm hosting a birthday party on 0407. You are invited, please come to celebrate my birthday, Koala. Of course, of course. I'll make sure that I'll be free on the 4th of July. I'll bring a bottle of wine over and look forward to the celebration. What? I never say my birthday is July. I'm an Aquarius. It's 7 of this month. Are you still coming? Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. <laughs> April 7th? That's today. 
I gotta go get a gift now. In the U.S., we use M M D D Y Y Y. So month always comes first, then day, then year. So it's really hard to reorient Americans' brain to read day before the month. Captain Mickey speaking. However, in Singapore, we always use D D M M Y Y Y. So we always put the day before the month, and we will mistake your month number as our day. Shock. Number five, temperature. Getting a message from a YouTube coach, right? Not only as a coach herself, Koala also pay for her own coach on YouTube. Real face of human being, beauty of the world. If I did not start my first solo trip in Singapore, I would not have done 190 countries by now. Hey Koala, I just watched your new channel. Most of the video are very well done, but I've got a couple of feedback for you. In your recent video, you said it's hot there, 38 degrees Celsius. Can you make sure that you're using some terminology that make sense to your audience? What is 38 degrees Celsius equal to in Fahrenheit? You know, some of these words just don't make sense. Thanks for the feedback. The majority of my audience are from Asia and Singapore. That's the temperature unit that they're using here. Typing in 38 degrees Celsius equal to what Fahrenheit? Oh shit, that's 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit? That's damn hot. In the US, we always use Fahrenheit and no one has any clue on how much Celsius is in terms of magnitude. If you tell them it's 30 degrees Celsius, they have no clue if it's hot or cold. In Singapore, we don't use Fahrenheit. Only Celsius is used here. If you turn on the air condition, check your weather app, or if you go see a doctor to check your body temperature, you all use Celsius. So you gotta get used to it. These are just a few of the many, many, many interesting examples that I personally experience during my time living in Singapore. Real case, not makeup, though I kind of make it my own comedy way because apparently a lot of people ask me to do open mic. They found that I'm a comedian material. If I ever have my comedy show, I'll definitely let you guys know. Do you share my videos with friends and family? Don't forget to support my second YouTube channel, Koala Travel Solo. If you're cooking, sharing, having dinner and whatever, it would be good to play my videos at the background, even if you don't have time to watch them all. My list of American and Singaporean English can go on and on and on. What are some of the other examples that you've seen in your experience? Comment below and share with our community here. Hope you have fun! If you want to see more of such videos, let me know. Give a like and comment. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day.